Hello friends, and welcome to my tutorial on how to build the fastest item transportation there is. And this is for Minecraft 1.13, though a similar design will work for Minecraft 1.12. Uh, currently, I am in Snapshot 18W19B. We are pretty darn close to the end of the snapshot phase. Minecraft 1.13 should be coming out pretty darn soon. So I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty safe to say that this will be uh, working in 1.13. Anyway, let's take a look at this briefly. So essentially, what I've got here is I've got a chest up at the top, and I've got this water channel going all the way over there. And most of you are probably familiar with the whole water channel, uh, water channel idea for item transportation on top of ice. Ice makes it go faster, and as you'll notice, I have blue ice here. Blue ice is from Minecraft... Uh, 1.13 upcoming. So let me do a quick demonstration here. And you'll see just how fast it goes out and how fast it gets pushed down this way. It's noisy. Oh, and I got some redstone torches mixed in there too. <laughs> and it gets collected down here. Tends to bottleneck a bit at this hopper, but how you do the collection is up to you. That's not really what I'm focusing on in the episode. What I'm focusing on in the episode is how fast you can transport items. And this is the fastest that I am aware of. There you go. That chest is already empty. This won't take much longer. From this view, you can probably tell how I'm doing this. <laughs> But I will walk you through exactly the uh, exactly the process. There we go. We're done. All of them. All whatever 18 stacks of diamonds are all transported all the way down there. So let's go over to uh, my build copy of this world so we take a look at how I did this. Okay, here we are in the build copy of the world. Essentially, the main point of this is that using hopper minecarts, you can transport items four times as fast. You see how this hopper minecart is on top of these four hoppers? I'm going to do another one over here and push it towards the center. This is the trickiest bit of this entire design is getting the minecarts in the right place. So uh, have fun with that. <laughs> You'll get it. it. It takes a while, but uh, we'll do some testing here. There you go, that's probably close. Yeah, that's the trickiest bit of this entire design, is getting the hopper minecarts placed correctly. The rest of it is pretty straightforward. As you probably guessed earlier, I have the items getting shot out of these droppers. Now, these are not dispensers, these are droppers, and that's an important detail because... Why are they not getting shot out? They should be. Oh, it's because of that. Okay, anyway. Um... Essentially, uh, a dispenser would dispense things, and a dropper just drops things. That's the whole point of the difference between them. If you were to use uh, drop or dispensers here instead of droppers, and you put eggs in this system, uh, the eggs would get hatched into chickens, which would be a really fast way to hatch a lot of chickens. But that's not what our goal is here. Our goal is to have this sort of fast item transport to empty your inventory. Now, there are faster ways to transport individual uh, individual items one by one, but because we're able to transport something close to like 16, 16 at a time, it's, it's a lot. This thing transports like 8 or 16 items simultaneously. Because we're able to do it, this is the fastest that I know of to transport items like that. So anyway, you probably understand this concept, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cover this up. But this concept is probably not as straightforward. So what this is, is I have the droppers here, and I have the hoppers going to a comparator to this block, which has the redstone torch, which keeps the, uh, keeps the observers in check. So if I didn't have this, that observer would just go on all the time. Which, to be honest, is not a bad way to do this design. There is no real need to have it uh, 
only dispense things when there's things to dispense, but it's probably a little bit less laggy to do it that way. And you always get the clicking. You always get clicking if you don't uh, don't turn it off. So that's up to you though. If you if you want it want to do it a different way, that's fine. But essentially, these two observers are pointed towards me, like this one is. Whoa, and I just fell. These two are pointed towards me, and these two are pointed in the other direction, and this is another dropper. And the way and with all of this working together, when an item shows up in that hopper, is it that hopper? Ah, there we go. So the comparator detects stuff passing through this hopper and uh, pushes it and, d and turns on the signal, essentially, is what this is. So like I said, you can leave this off if you want the clicking to happen all the time, but I don't. That does not sound very fun, especially not for the video. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and duplicate this over here. I will start with the observers. Oops. And I think I got to go down here. You can hear the droppers going. Ah, not like that. Like this. There we go. Okay, so that's that's an important step to this. If you don't have it in this configuration, it's not going to work right. Like, I can't put a block here. It'll just, it, it, it's not going to work the same way as having a, a dropper. Uh, but obviously, it doesn't matter which direction the dropper is facing. Come on. There we go. Okay. So that's pretty much it, apart from this comparator. There we go. And I've already already duplicated that side. This is a pretty easy and cheap design, uh, except for the blue ice. Blue ice, if you're not aware, is crafted from packed ice. Packed ice is not renewable, unlike normal ice is. So blue ice can be expensive, but blue ice is faster than packed ice for items. Um, other than that, this is a pretty darn cheap design. Uh, it's just got the observers there, the droppers there, comparators. That's pretty much it. And the hoppers, of course. Something important to point out is that these blocks here are here for a reason. If they weren't there, uh, the droppers would actually shoot stuff and they would get stuck up here by the hoppers, which is not what we want. So, uh, yeah, that, that block there is required. Now let's do a test here. I want to make sure that this is working right. Yep, yep, it's working right. That one is, at least. We'll try this one next. So it should be the same behavior. Um... Okay, those two are good. Those two are good. Okay, right now where these, uh, right now where these two minecart chests or hopper minecart carts are, is exactly where they need to be. So that if there's four items in that hopper, one item will go there, one item will go there, one item will go there, and one item will go there. That's what makes this so fast. It's the fast that this, the fact that this dispenses eight items at a time into the water channel instead of just one. I think I mentioned that there are faster ways to do just one item at a time, uh, but compared to this, they are not as fast because they can only do one item at a time. That has th that that method has to do with a bunch of uh, a bunch of droppers and a bunch of observers. So this is definitely faster than that. But the tricky part sometimes is getting this all enclosed because we want it to look pretty, don't we? So. Ah. Another thing to mention is that in order to fill these two uh, minecarts at the same time, we are going to use a double chest. 
And something handy to mention, if you don't know, since this is a Minecraft 1.13 video, you can now put chests next to each other in all kinds of configurations like this. So it's really handy for some of this stuff. Like that's what I did down there. And now there is no longer any need at all to use um, trap chest. So this trap chests will be totally dis uh, totally abandoned. So sorry, sorry if you're a big trap chest fan, but I don't think anyone's gonna care too much. There we go. Wow, that's fast. That's that was an entire stack. Watch how fast. Watch how fast that empties out of the chest. Obviously, having this many hoppers, three, is a bit of a bit of a waste, I guess you could say. You could move this down and have only two. But, like I said, this block here is essential, as are these to stop the droppers from shoving the items just anywhere it wants to. All right, let's see if there's anything else that I wanted to mention. Um... If you're crafting items, this is where things get a bit tricky as far as the fastest way to transport things. So, if you're crafting items... Uh, I know how to do this. Oh, that, that would have been easier. Anyway, if you're crafting items, then it might be easier to, once you finish crafting, to drop them and keep crafting and then they go off down the path. But you could also just craft a whole bunch into your inventory and then dump your inventory into here. <laughs> um, yeah, depends on what you're crafting for the speed. Sometimes it's more efficient to do it this way and just drop it. But a lot of times I think it'll be more efficient to just... Uh, drop your entire inventory in, especially because there's a really cool feature that is currently in the game, which I only recently discovered. It's been out for a while, but is that you can pick up a stack of items and you can hold shift and double click, and it'll transport all of the ones in your inventory into the chest. That's probably a pretty old feature that a lot of you know about, but I wanted to mention it because it's a, it's a pretty pretty important part of this design. One other thing that I want to mention is that as fast as you can dispense the items, you have to be able to pick them up just as fast or else uh, you're going to start losing items. So for this current design where it's a chest, it's entirely dependent upon the user putting something in the chest for it to start working. But you could use a similar design to this to... Um, uh, dispense items from the output of a mob farm, for example. In that case, since it's constant, the uh, wherever your items get collected, have to be able to collect them at the same pace that you're outputting them. That's why over here, I also have a minecart with four hoppers and four chests. Huh. I guess it favors this one. It must go... The items must come into here and go into that hopper first, because most of the items have ended up in this chest. But if you do stacks of things, like the redstone torches, I've done a lot of those, it's going to be distributed evenly between these four chests. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to mention. This is a very, very fast way to move very large amounts of items, especially out of your infantry. So if that is something that you are looking for, then uh, this is... This is a great choice for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, found this video useful, and I hope that the fact that it's going to be working in Minecraft 1.13 gives you a bit of reassurement on designing it into Minecraft 1.12. Uh, something to keep in mind, of course, is that the blue ice is not available in 1.12. That's coming in 1.13, and it is faster. So that's a way to get this faster. Anyway, thanks for watching, friends. And uh, go ahead and check out some of my other videos if you're interested. If not, uh, thanks for watching. Take care.